Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's August 24th, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Christian girls are being kidnapped by Muslims, forced to marry them and convert to Islam. The latest victim, 15-year-old Saniha Iqbal in Pakistan, taken last month in Faisalabad by a Muslim with four wives while she was on her way to school. She's just one in a string of kidnapped Christians raped by Muslim men and forced to apostatize. A homo predator bishop is finally saying sorry, but does he mean it? West Virginia Bishop Michael Bransfield published an apology last week, two years after resigning in disgrace for reportedly embezzling millions of dollars to fuel a lavish gay lifestyle. In his apology, he downplayed his sexual harassment as actions taken the wrong way and referred to the theft as simply diocesan reimbursements. Planned Parenthood wants your kids to have abortions. This according to Monica Klein, who spent a decade as a sex educator for the abortion giant and was ordered to promote graphic sex ed to young students. She exposed Planned Parenthood's agenda on a recent podcast. And But by doing that, those children now become dependent on getting condoms and contraceptives and getting tested and getting treated, and yes, even getting abortions. In California, another victory for religious liberty. On Thursday, a court sided with famed Protestant preacher John MacArthur in his lawsuit against the governor, alleging religious discrimination. MacArthur has been defying the state's lockdown, allowing indoor worship at Grace Community Church in spite of a statewide ban. After LA County asked the court to hold the church in contempt, the court refused, announcing there's no order for the church to close its doors. Republicans are mulling a conservative squad, hitting back against the far-left faction of Rashida Tlaib, Ayanna Presley, Elon Omar, and AOC. House Republicans are creating their own conservative posse, tapping up-and-coming ladies on the right. The racially diverse group may include Kimberly Klasik, running for U.S. Congress, whose campaign ad showing Democrat-run Baltimore in ruins has been a hit. Trump's guarding the polls come November. On Fox News Thursday, when asked how he'd fight voter fraud on Election Day, the president said this. We're going to have everything. We're going to have sheriffs, and we're going to have law enforcement, and we're going to have, hopefully, U.S. attorneys, and we're going to have everybody and attorney generals. Trump's been warning against massive voter fraud, as Democrats are using the pandemic to urge voters to stay away from the polls and vote by mail. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about Biden's hatred of Christ. God bless you.